see y'all, y'all uh, where, oh, let me find this shit. Where's the first Man. flash? Hey, all right. Look, listen. Lorenzo Taha. And he said basically in the hallucination mode, IJ, before you get started, he basically said, I ain't had no motion. You built the organization when I was locked up. Uh hey Tamika, he might be a scrub. I'm sorry. Look at no, little no, okay. no, no, no. Remember, all right. So let's just be clear what's going on here. This is the flash. This is the first flashback where we see little uh little Kane, as my dog Brillo would say, little hurricane eating the Cheerios. So this right here, this is a uh the number one indicator of someone being on Wick is when they have Cheerios. Mm. So if they got Cheerios in the crib, they on Wick. <laughs> I just gonna throw that out there. My sister used to get Wick, we used to be over there eating Cheerios, put a Put a whole thing of sugar in there. A sugar on the thing. Yeah, well, hey, you know, I know a little something. <laughs> facts. So they on wick right now. Well, but a lot of sugar on the <laughs> At this point, you got to remember they're young. She had, she had a. Uh, this is a year, or how would you think? Let's just let's just say Kane is what one year, two years old here. Let's just say two years. That means Zeke is one years old. This means Monet is probably what 16 years old. <coughs> she had she had Zeke what 14, 15. She's a, she's a young mother, man. Living exactly. with a bozo, not handling. No, 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 no. See, that, that's where people are getting it wrong. So at this point, Lorenzo's in the game, but what did he say? She's like, Oh, I want to move, I want to get out of here, I want to do this. And he's like, No, I gotta prove my like I gotta you. You know when you 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 around when you working your way up in the dope game, you can't just go up there like Effie and say, "Hey, give me the bricks." Lorenzo's trying to prove himself. He can't do what she's doing, just running around the streets because they're gonna try to check him. So that's what he's saying. She's like, "We need to work up." He's like, "All right, let me put in some work first. Let me let me work my way up this." He's slow playing it because he knows they will whoop his ass. He can't just jump out there. That's how well, I was okay. looking. No. Respectfully, how I was looking at it is I'm in look, you got to press, bro. This is the game and this is power. We ain't sitting. I'm not waiting for you, bro. You give me the bricks or I'm gonna get them from somebody else or I'm gonna take them from you. Look, I'm not about to be having a little hurricane eating this dry ass stale cereal. No, bro. You yeah, gotta get it how you live. Come on, man. At, at 15, 16 years old, you ain't pressing the dope boys like that. Hey. You ain't pressing the dope boys like I that. Mean, we ain't seen got we work. ain't seen Tariq. We ain't seen Tariq press Noma like that. Hey, right, not yet. Not not saying press them. Like you said, you're right. We don't really know the backstory. Lorenzo, the thing is, she could have waited. She could have waited. But you know, man, how long is a woman like Monet gonna wait? You feel me? So to be fair, Lorenzo could have had a plan in order to to do all this stuff, and she just ran out of patience. But Moda, people run out of patience, like Tariq said. When you are defeated and broke, bro, you run out of patience quick, yeah, my G. But that's what I'm. That, so in the second flashback, when they get pulled over, this is Monet acting reckless. This is putting the child in danger. Lorenzo mm -hmm. had a plan the whole time. He's like, no, let's let me work it. I got this. She's out there wilding out, riding around, gun in the glove department, got two bricks on her, got the baby in the back seat. So if something went down and the baby got locked up, then everybody be like, Lorenzo need to bail her out. And we call Lorenzo a bum ass nigga. When Lorenzo said he had it under control, he's like, listen, let me put in some work. Hey, not yet. I'm not saying she did everything correctly. I'm just saying she ran Hold out on, of patience. See. And like a real hustler, she was about to make it happen, bro. She wasn't about to wait on Lorenzo. I, I respect it, bro. She went out Hold there I'm and a, got uh, some bricks. I'm going to play just, this uh, audio real quick. Hold on, let me see. I got to prove myself first. Then I can ask for more product. See? Hold on. Can't do it. Lorenzo, we got to get out of here. This place is a shithole. I'm doing what I can, Momo. I got to prove myself first. Then I can ask for more product. I'm going to give you everything you want, baby. You just got to hang in there a little longer. See? He's saying, I listen, that. I got to... Hold on, hold on. Because in hindsight, in hindsight, when Lorenzo got this whole place set up, who's in prison? So now it's got us looking, maybe Monet did some bullshit and Lorenzo went down for her out here trying to rush shit. No, I know why Lorenzo, I know why Lorenzo went to prison. 
with the prison got caught up with Big Guap. And so unless Monet has something to do with that play, you're right, it could be. Everything is on the floor at this point, Monet. Exactly. And so, then in episode one, what did Lorenzo and them say? He said, I've been waiting for this a while, for a while. And then Dante showed up. And they like, all of this is because of you, Monet. Yeah. So hey, see, look. we looking at it. We looking at it from right now. She wants to get out of here. She's impatient. But we hear Lorenzo. Lorenzo, even as adults, we see how Lorenzo was moving compared to Monet. She out here sleeping with the police. She making calls that don't need to go down. There was a million dollars in the safe that they could have used that Lorenzo stacked up, not Monet. So that's what I was now, looking at. We don't know that. It. No, Look. because remember, Lorenzo said that was my million dollars that I put in there. He was like, so you wasn't going to use my million dollars? And she was like, well, I needed to save some of the money. Hey, look, remember I'm Diana not saying nothing bad. Uh, I'm just saying, look, you got your you got your baby living in a trap house, bro. She's not going to be patient. Uh, uh, listen, a woman not going to be that patient that, that often. I'm not a woman At like a place. Place. Monet ain't no woman. They 15 years old. They kids. She grown. She got a ain't no kid no more. Once you jump off the porch and you have a kid, a baby, you that's over with. You 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 an adult. You got to make it happen. And she's not about right. to wait on Lorenzo. All right. All right, I got you. I got you right here. If that's the case, then why the fuck she give up Zeke? That's the first one she gave up. Exactly. So we can't trust this unresponsible individual. She gave up Zeke. He became, uh, I don't know, he he became a slow individual. Like, we, we, <laughs> we know I'm how saying Monet this. is You no. cannot so, expect. He clearly didn't know who his woman was. You expect okay, a, and let me say a this. woman like Monet Tahada to sit on her hands while you wait your, while, while you wait your turn to move up the ladder of, of no, bro, you gotta, you gotta do better, my G. If Rilo, you want her to sit game. on her hands, they, Brillo, you know yeah, the no game. He, <laughs> but he can't just go the up there. He can't just go up there. I need more bricks. Like, come on, man. He got to prove himself. Hey, you prove yourself by taking initiative, bro. I'm not about to be broke, penny, and nickel, and diamond, bro. I need some more bricks. If I can get them off, you should be. Able, you should give them to me, bro. If I could hustle and get get enough product, that's the same reason why why uh. They had to leave Pat in BMF. <laughs> they were slowing them down. <laughs> but you what I'm press, saying bro. is, listen, look how Monet is moving. She didn't already had a kid. First of all, if we just looking at it from the from the outside looking in, we got to protect Lorenzo because this motherfucker over here throwing that thing to Mecca and ain't even tell that Lorenzo that she got another kid. So can we even trust Monet at this point? Bro, she grimy and you can't trust nobody. I'm saying she went and got two bricks. Bro, if she got two pieces, what listen, else was happening? And listen, what, did, what did Lorenzo say? What did Lorenzo say when that happened? He said, "Wait, bro, what did you? Why did you do that?" Basically, I had something to play. But, bro, asking to connect for more work—that's not like saying you no. Know, that's not. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm just saying, allegedly, if you go to the connect, that's a good call. <laughs> if you call the connect, like you know, I need some more bricks. The connect not gonna be like you dirty bastard. You need more bricks. They're gonna be happy, bro. So look, I, wh what's the problem, Lorenzo? Go, go get some more work. That's what yeah, I don't the understand. Thing is we don't know what Lorenzo is set up for. Lorenzo, he may have just got in the game. He said he got to work his way up. So if you go get two bricks, who the fuck is he moving two bricks to? He ain't moving two bricks at this point. He probably ain't at that level or had that network. He might be sitting on those bricks and he can't pay him back. And now he in debt two bricks because Monet went to pick him up talking about, oh, my man, a move these. He ain't even got that kind of operation. If he don't got that's my point. If you don't got that type of operation, you got to level up, my G. What are we doing here? If you don't got that type of, you got to get on your hustle, bro. Yo, you living in a trap house, dog. You ain't got the operation. This is not to... a trap house. This is a regular 1990s apartment in fucking New York. <laughs> Bro, I seen the roach go across little hurricanes. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, that's just protein. That's all that is. That just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, but no, don't get it twisted. I'm not saying Monet is 100% in the right. I'm saying I understand why she is making me understand her more. Like she did, she did been through some stuff as well, of course. Of course, she should have waited on Lorenzo in hindsight, but 
Monet is not gonna listen to nobody, bro. And that's Monet's problem, and that's why we see Mecca and Lorenzo saying that. All I'm all I'm saying is Monet. When you look at Monet right now, Monet's the type of chick that'll get you in a situation. Say something that it is it, it, like it's low level. You guys can handle it. Hey, my bad, bro. Monet, like, oh hell no, my dude gonna do this and this to you, and you ain't like it's like five of them, and now Monet didn't got you into some shit because now she got these two bricks. <laughs> what, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how Monet's moving around. But Monet's such a hustler. Them bricks probably sold already. She gonna turn them two yeah. into six. He said you made the drug business pop when I was locked up. I wasn't even doing them. I, I, I don't got the exact audio like you know, but I know you know, no, I know what, you mean. what I'm talking about. But she he bet she he basically said if you believe that's the truth, because it's from Monet's perspective. Well, I, I don't, right. I don't think these are from the perspective because the first one, remember the, the, the first cutscene or well, flashback was her talking to Janet and saying, I just want it better for the kids. So I think this is just giving us an overall flashback because Janet was basically agreeing that all of this happened. And, you know, they just giving us a flashback for us to see what the situation was. Because we we hear from Lorenzo and we hear from Monet. So I don't think it's from her perspective. I just think it's an actual, like, in the vehicle is her thinking back on it. But it's overall, I don't think it's, like, just her one-sided. You know what I mean? I think right. it's telling the story for us. But let me let me let me let me play this one real quick. To get this car with Lorenzo Jr. Why the fuck did you have a gun in the car with Lorenzo Jr.? Wow. So Jan is a snitch for real. Monet, tell me what's going on. I please don't be mad. But I want to talk to Carlos to get this. Look, I'm sorry, baby. I just want to get us out this shithole. You went behind my fucking back to get more product. I asked you to do it ten times. It wasn't yes. fucking time. Then how come? Mm, ten he, time. Just said, he said it wasn't time. So they already had product. She trying to add more product on top of the product. She trying That's to win, company. bro. We're not. We're not about to be, be poor and selling drugs. How we poor, putting our lives at risk, and we can't even enjoy the month, bro. No, that ain't how drug dealing work. If you in the game of drug dealing, allegedly, I would advise you to try to, you know, hold on, go as. Come on now, hold on. Hey, hold on. I'm not about to be Maybe. poor uh, and drug dealing at the same time, old IJ. That's crazy. Hold on. Hold on. What did What did James St. Patrick? tell Tasha when she said she wanted him to be the biggest drug dealer. He told that half smart chicken head to calm the fuck down. That's your dream. I got this under control. Dude, Let's, hey, dude. Lorenzo had a plan and it wasn't Dreams time for him already to get had millions at that time, bro. It's not a problem if Monet's not trying to do this if she's in the penthouse. I, I can I can assure you that. She's not they going to get those. Money. What is Monet doing besides sitting at the house? Trying to get bricks, and and do what? Now she got two bricks, and she now she wants you to go sell these two bricks while she sit at the to, house eating Cheerios. She about to sell them boys with look with with Kane, right? <laughs> Hurricane, hey, right? Them in the Cheerios box. Don't care. <laughs> Kane got the Thule on him at a back. Not why you think Kane pressing so hard? He been had a Thule on him since he was in a car seat. What are y'all talking about? Hey, shout out to Kane too. Hey, let me let me play the last part of this and just see what else uh, Lorenzo had to say. Oh my God. Don't fucking mix our kid with business, Mo. That shit will not end well. Hmm. Oh, you hear that? Right, Mo, like they, they can't afford daycare. Shit, what's she doing all day? She watching Little Hard Game. You hey, did you hear the foreshadow window? So back in 1990, Lorenzo right. told her mixing kids in business, it won't end well. And look where we're at now. The kids are shooting at her. It's all kinds of wild shit. So in hindsight, Lorenzo was right. Lorenzo was right. But it also he you know, he taught his kids the game, so he changed his mind on that. That's true. Well, I mean, he was locked up, so I don't think because he was what doing 15 years, he did 10 out of 15, or was that Janar? I mean, Diamond, I don't know, man. Maybe all these prison sentences be the same like well, 15 years, right. we served eight, get everybody, out. right? Everybody get out, 
<laughs> I don't know, but for me, I like these flashbacks, and I said it last night too. Right. I was like, man, knowing 50 since he fucked with Monet, well, Mary J, I could see them like just seeing yeah. this little thing. They did a good job with the casting. It I actually made like a, a video about it, man. Uh just gonna drop later today about a new spinoff. Hey, oh boy, sounded like he sounded like Lorenzo, and she kind of looked like a young Monet. No, that was a great casting. Yeah, that right there is good. Even if they gave us like just two seasons of this, you know what I mean? Just like just showing us how they got together. Like they had to be great. Cool. You could bring Mac in it. Yeah, you could even you could even have, uh you could have everybody in it, honestly, except the new characters. You know, what I'm saying like Tariq and all them. Yeah, and they mentioned Tasha, Mecca, Kane. They mentioned the guy Carlos, so it's like, all right, there's a guy named Carlos that they getting to work from, and then you can have like Carlos's boss, and that could show like Lorenzo Green. going to Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, nah, stars gonna have to pay us. Stop, stop. Pause the line. Right? Stars <laughs> gonna have to pay, pay us, bro. It's so simple, man. Yeah, I mean that. Yeah, like like Miss Kira said, a limited series, just like. Even if they give us like twelve episodes, hey, that that'd be kind of smooth. You know what I mean? Show her like with Mecca, like two, three episodes, then at the end, then we see this right here. Dana, what up, Rizzo. though? Hey, that, hey, that the yeah, Monet origin story is sounding a little legit now. That shit sound like, hey, it might be something you want to watch. Facts. I put it together in the video, uh, little video. Damn, that'd be cool. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pick back up on Monet, finish her story. All right, so we did the flashbacks. Um, we'll go back and talk about Janet, and then because it's pretty much Monet and the family, other than her running into Noma. Now Monet's out Janet, of the hospital. Huh? I was wrong. I was wrong. I thought this Janet chick was gonna be working with Detective Carter. She clearly wasn't. Well, I mean, this is just the introduction. We don't really right. know she much still about could her. Be right. It's still on the flow. She seems solid in this episode. Yeah. It's like she actually but cares about Monet. She did snitch to Lorenzo about the about the, the you know the firearm that little hurricane was told. Monet said, That's not my gun. That was hurricane. That was hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they put the gun up under the baby seat. As soon as the gun got over there, hey, her, hey, she started if crying. The police would have found it. Monet, Monet would have been like, that ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Kay would have been big <laughs> doing 15. <laughs> hey, Monet would have been at the house. Monet would have been at the house. Lorenzo would have been like, "Hey, where's uh Lorenzo Jr.?" She's like, "Oh man, he, he locked, locked up, up right now." Like, what? He's got him. <laughs> he locked up. <laughs> but see, so what that makes me believe is when Janet told, I think the, I think the reason they said that is to show us that. Monet wasn't in the game at this point. Like you said, she's hungry. She wants to, you know, get up out of the situation that they're in. So she just went out there, you know what I'm saying, took a risk and went out there, hey, Carlos, we need this extra bricks. We can move it. You know what I mean? So it's showing, like, Monet wasn't in the game, and then it was kind of like she forced Lorenzo, like you were saying, to go in and, like, actually move, like, make some right. motion. I know I'm asking for a lot, man, but would it have hurt him to show us how she got them bricks, man, two minutes Two three minutes, how she got the brick? What did she do to get them bricks? You can't just go say I need two bricks. What she do to get them bricks, Mo? <laughs> 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 hey, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. This, I don't know this, but. this is why. This is why I'm saying Lorenzo couldn't just go over there and get those bricks. Monet could go over. I don't know what she did. Exactly. See, now you see what I'm saying. Lorenzo, hey, could just, she got him. Bricks. She got him. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like two bricks for some cutty, man. You can get like a like a fucking ounce or something, maybe a half. Yeah, she, she, also, get two she, quite, she had. I don't know how the hell you convince somebody to give you two bricks, bro. <laughs> oh, I know a way. <laughs> like you said, that ain't even worth two bricks, my G. <laughs> Unless he been wanting that for a while, <laughs> like what? Well, that's not worth two bricks. 
<laughs> no, Tamika, I'm just saying, like how she. I wish that's why I say I wish they would have shown how she did it. Like that had to be a hell of a speech. Hey, and not only that, the crazy thing is, do you think Janet and uh, Lorenzo Jr. stayed in the car while she went inside, <laughs> or they went inside too? <laughs> Man, Loren what you mean? <laughs> Little Hurricane was clutching that boy. <laughs> hey, I got so much more respect for Little Hurricane was clutching that boy. He, he oh, was man. looking out, making sure nothing went bad. Man, don't tell me Monet was in that other room and little Lorenzo was <laughs> crawling around the living room. <laughs> little Hurricane was crawling around the living room, bro. Oh my god, how did she a hey, chat Moet? How she get those bricks? <laughs> hey man, she just she, she said, had no money. <laughs> she told the greatest speech of all time. Look, Tamika, I, I'm just saying it ain't got nothing to do with a woman. I mean, how do you get brick two bricks and you broke unless you just fall into a plug and smooth? Sex ain't even worth no two two bricks. Dude, I'm Rick, sorry. That's what I'm saying, man. That ain't worth it, bro. Bro. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, no, I was about to say something wild, but I ain't gonna say, gonna say it. Bro, that's not worth no two bricks, my G. So I'm saying she she probably said a great-ass speech, man. They should have showed it. Um, it couldn't be Mecca. Mecca, remember, Mecca and Monet were messing around, and Mecca joined the military before he came a snitch. She said she got right. the bricks from Mecca Carlos. Mecca was already at the military. Yeah, and she said she got them from Carlos, and uh, Lorenzo works for Carlos. So, ah, damn, not Monet. So wait, y'all telling me that baby Lorenzo might not be Lorenzo? He might be Carlos Jr. No, nah, bro, we're not putting that on Monet. Oh man, like we said, that ain't worth no two bricks, bro. Oh shit, Drew Tejada is really Carlos Jr. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Drew is oh, that ain't his dad. Carlos is his dad. Oh. Nah, no, nah, I'm putting that down. That's a theory right there. Carlos is Drew's father. Hey, <laughs> y'all hear it first. Carlos like two K views right there. Hey, stolen by Brillo the Big Review. I'm about to drop that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> this is the power, man. We don't, hey, hey we don't know. In, it's plausible. In that flashback, Ooh, in you that don't flashback, act like Kane. We don't know about Zeke, and we don't know about Mecca. So it could, it could be, it could be. Remember, we don't know who Mecca is, and we don't even know that there's a Zeke. Zeke is down in Mississippi somewhere eating crowns. Man, Zeke ain't even born yet, bro. Nah, Zeke's a year well, older than uh, they, no, but they're what they're telling Zeke is is you're not even born yet. Oh, yeah, that's right. Zeke like zero right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Zeke two years old right. walking and talking. They like, no, you're zero right now. <laughs> you're 12 months. Like what? Well, they making Zeke just stay up under the cover. Like Zeke five foot four at this moment. <laughs> stay in the fetal position. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Uh, Stay in the fetal position. It's crazy. Crazy. Man. <laughs> hey, when you think about it, though, like you got to think about Zeke's story because Zeke is alive and he's what in North Carolina or he's in right. Mississippi. I don't know where the fuck Zeke is. But remember, Zeke is a year older than Kane and Kane is like, you know what I'm saying, what, 18 months. So that means. Zeke is like two years old, but they're telling Zeke, no, you're zero. <laughs> you're right. zero right now. Oh, when is my birthday? We don't know yet. <laughs> uh, he said, that's not my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know yet. Get back in the fetal position. Hey, he coming downstairs. The kids come up. Get back upstairs, Zeke. Get in that fetal position. <laughs> yeah. oh, Man, Z, hey, that's, that's the that's the most diabolical thing in power history, bro. To make that child think, you know, what I'm saying, <laughs> not even know that's age. That's the worst thing, bro. 
Oh, damn, Monet is a bad person, bro. Damn, <laughs> I don't rock with Monet. Hey, forget everything I just said. I just said. See, and that's what I was saying. Like, we Lorenzo don't know. Lorenzo, oh. it took 23 years before Lorenzo knew that Zeke was Monet. We didn't even know. We just thought Zeke was a cousin. So, yeah. wait, was Zeke staying with Janet? No, Janet was up there with her, so he was staying with somebody who, like, Zeke is alive right now, y'all, and we're talking about Monet going to get bricks, and we don't know how she got the bricks because they ain't got no money. And Zeke is just somewhere living with the family members. Monet don't even claim this little nigga. That's her nephew. But Mo to me, look, Monet had to have some type. Even we, we, you know what I'm saying? But bro, they had no respect for Lorenzo. You're not even gonna tell me my woman came up. Here? Like I'm at the bottom of the total pole, so he's still a sucker, bro. No respect in these streets. Not at this time. My woman come ask begging for bricks. I'm broke as hell. I'm broke. I'm broke and selling dope. That's crap. I'm, if, if I'm allegedly selling dope, I am not going to be broke, my G. No, that is not happening because I'm putting my life at risk. I can go to jail and get popped up at any time. So no, I got it. I'm. You thought Big Meech was flashy. What do you want me to say? You think I'm flashy? Shoot. Dog. Who, like, <laughs> not that like button, man. Like, just, I don't think when they wrote this flashback, people were actually going to think, you know what? Zeke is alive right now. Where the fuck is Zeke at? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the first thing I thought. That's the first thing we thought. <laughs> and that's what I was saying. I was like, man, we got to look at Monet. She got a whole kid that was born maybe a year ago because Kane looked like he's about one year old. So like two years ago. And then she had that baby, sent that baby off, had a baby with Lorenzo. And now she's going to get bricks. We don't know how she's getting bricks. She got two bricks. And this is the 90s. We know Raquel and them were selling them things for pretty high. At, and this is the 90s. So they could have, they, if they was really feeling, feeling uh, frisky, they could have wove that in. Like they should have said, I'm but no, they had probably had to keep it, uh, you know, uh, Car Carlos keep it in the same uh demographic, but she should have got some, she could have got some bricks from Marvin or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you never know, like, right. that, that could be, you know, what I'm saying one of the workers that were in one of the buildings or something. I mean, they could always tie it in like that, so I don't know, man. right? All right, let's let's continue on, man. Cause damn, that flashback was some shit. Man, we already got like 30, shit. yeah, we almost had an hour just talking about the damn flashback. Hey man, it's layers, man. R.I.P. to Zeke, man. Man, shout out to Zeke, man. Damn. And they could have killed my dog around a little. I didn't lie. You did. It's the wrong year. <laughs> it's the wrong year. No, he said. I think you was a no Zeke. <laughs> but if for sure was one born in nineteen seventy, whatever it is. Oh my God. man. What, what year did they bring Zeke up? Did they bring Zeke up in high school or like once he went to college? College, bro. Once they found, once she found out he was good at, if Zeke wasn't good at basketball, dog, he would have stayed in Carolina. <laughs> she thought she was going pro, bro. Monet is <laughs> diabolical now that we break this down, bro. She might be the worst character in the Power Universe, dog. She didn't give a damn about Zeke till she found out Zeke. <laughs> Hey, and then all her other kids she didn't care about. She said, Diana, you're gonna be the accountant. Kane, right. you're gonna be security. Drew, you're gonna be the personal assistant. She like, fuck that. I'm about to, I'm about to eat. Right. We about to, right. He going. When we look at how she's treating them, that's how she was running, trying to run the game with Lorenzo. And Lorenzo's like, chill, man. You doing too much. Damn, bro. I like Monet, but damn, man. She so now it's got you wondering. If she was doing this with Lorenzo, what was going on when she was dealing with Mecca? <laughs> hey, Mecca was probably like, man, I'm joining the I'm getting the fuck away from her. Right. What Mecca go to jail get in trouble for? Who Lorenzo? Oh, no. See, you need to drop the spinoff, man. You see, it's yeah, too many questions. Hey, man, to about this. It's way, it's way too damn interesting. It's happening, y'all. <laughs> it's way too that, interesting. Hey, 
Now it's got us looking like, damn, maybe Monet's story is actually There's no more story to be told because everybody can weave in. Internet offers the any character that we could think of, except for the book two characters, the younger characters can be weaved into that spinoff. Damn, that's crazy. Monet's character, like, like now we need to know her background. Yeah, we do. Like I said, this is let me see. This is what I said last night. Let me see. We gonna see you tomorrow? You yeah, gonna you gonna see me tomorrow. I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be in there. It's your weekend, man. You ain't gonna be here. Man, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Watch <laughs> this, tomorrow, Brillo. Man, later. All right, uh. All right. Okay, Bushandra might work. All right, that might work. Oh yeah, I watched this. I yeah, watched we haven't, it. Uh, somebody was asking about the origins. I haven't seen anything about the origins, but knowing fifty, we might get a Monet origin story. Even though I know a lot of people ain't gonna want to, like I don't, I don't know who's the up and coming actress that they could have play Monet. Show us how she met Lorenzo, how she met Mecca, but then that'd kind of be like a raising Canaan type, though. I don't know. Who... Then I mean, shit, we could just do the whole Power series from like an eighties perspective. Yeah, when well, I was, last it, night bro. I was thinking about, it, I was like, man. Actually, Monet's story is pretty. I know a lot of people say they don't want to see Monet, but when you think about her story, yeah. if that, that drop, they'll be lined up for everybody in the community. Man, come on, you know how the community is. Ain't no way in the hell they're not watching the, the Monet story. Especially oh, yeah, got a little hurricane with the is that cane in the back? With, yeah, with the red hat on, clutching the pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Torian, what up, though? Yeah, that Monet, hey, now when you really thinking about it, just seeing this little scene, it's like, damn, I don't know. Monet's story seems like it's going to be pretty interesting. Hey, she ain't give a damn about Zeke. To she, if Zeke couldn't hoop, bro, if he was just a regular kid, bro, he'd be still in South Carolina working at uh the gas station or something, bro. Let me ask you this. Since Janet is close to her, <coughs> she knew. Like they always hung out with each other. Remember, she said, even since we were younger, you wanted to be like me. Do you believe that Janet 